hello guys good afternoon you are welcome to my youtube channel the spc tutorials as you all know my name is Dr. joseph please as you're watching this video endeavor to subscribe like share and comment and also make sure you click the notification bell so that you can be notified each time i upload a new content in today's video i shall be taking us modification of the stem in pvb 122 now the stem has different categories some stems are for protection, some are for reproduction, and some are for photosynthesis. Let us get started. Now, the type of stems that are meant for photosynthesis are the type of stems that are photosynthesis are photosynthetic, are called what? Cladode. All right. A photosynthetic stem is called what? Cladode or Philoclad. I repeat, a stem that has the ability to carry out photosynthesis is called what? Cladode or a philoclad. Example of such uh, stem is found in uh, Africa. It's found in Africa succulent. Africa succulent. And it has botanical name as what? Well. Stapelia grandi flora. All right, which means that the African succulent plant possesses stems that are used for what? Photosynthesis, and you call those stems cladode or a philoclad. Now, some are also meant for what? <coughs> reproduction, and some are meant for what? Protection. Now, the ones that are meant for reproduction, uh, you have them growing horizontally, and you have a lot of them. Before I take that, let me take the one meant for protection. Now, there are some stems that have uh, art growth. They have art growth in the, in the form of what? Spine or thorns. Like spine. Or a spine or what? Thorns. Now, these spines or thorns prevent them from being fed on by herbivorous what? animals. That is, it provides protection. A good example is found in lime. All right, you know lime is citrus or antifolia. All right, citrus or antifolia possesses what type of stem? Protective stem. Protective stem. All right, please take note of that. It is very, very important. The clad, a cladu or a philoclad, example is Africa succulent, Stapelia grandifolia. Possesses what type of stem? Photosynthetic what stem? Take note of that. And some okay, please, please. The ability of the vegetative part of a plant to survive over a long period of time is called what? Perennation. Perennation. Take note of the spelling. Now, when I sat for PBB one two two, they gave me this question. They brought different spellings. Double N, that is what you have as what? Perination. The ability of a plant to survive vegetatively is called what? Perination. Please take note of that. The stems of lime is meant for protection. The stem of Stapelia grandifolia is meant for what? Photosynthesis. And the stem of lime is meant for what? Protection. Now let us now discuss the various types of stems that enhance that is the various types of reproductive stem let me use that word reproductive different types of what reproductive stems i will not waste my time explaining i'll just give you examples because i don't have time for that now reproductive stem reproductive stems one is a type that grows horizontally and you call that word rhizoid Okay, rhizome, rhizome, rhizome. Rhizome. So, okay, wait. <clears throat> now, rhizome is a type of what? An underground stem. Underground stem that grows horizontally. It grows horizontally. And the type of plant that reproduces through rhizome is called the elephant grass. Elephant grass produces. Is the word rhizome, elephant grass, 
called Penicetum purpureum. All right, that is for one uh, elephant grass reproduces using what the rhizome. Rhizome that is N E. Number two, <clears throat> some reproduces using comb. Some reproduces using what comb. Now comb is a is a dense is a dense bulky rounded type of what is a tuberous stem a tuberous a tuberous what stem example of organism that it produces through comb is the uh Cocoyam, and the botanical name is called what? Colocasia, Colocasia esculentum. Leaves. Comb is used by cocoyam for what? Production. Rhizome is used by uh, elephant grass for what? Production. Number three is the bobbies or the bob. Now, the bob is a much more flattened type of what stem now take note of that the comb they store food in their stem take note of that all right the comb they store food okay comb sorry comb comb they store food in the stem but this bulb is made up of a type of fleshly leaves that are concentric that are what concentric and this leaf is protected by a board it's protected by a board and what hard scales and you call it what tunicates please tunicates is associated with what a bulb okay so please take note of that it is very very important now what type of what type of plant produces to the bulb is called what onion Onion produces true bulb. Onion is called what? Allium sepa. Allium sepa. Take note of this. Ask which of these is wrongly mashed. Which of these is wrongly mashed? Elephant grass is to rhizome. Comb is to okoyam. Bulb is to allium sepa. Now number four. Number four type of stem or the fourth type of stem is the bobbies, the bobbies, the bobbies, please. Pineapple produces through what? Bobbies, pineapple. And the botanical name of pineapple is what? Ananas chromosus, ananas chromosus, ananas chromosus. Then I'll also give you soccer. You no know, soccer is that part of the parent plant that grows inside the soil and it can be detached from the parent. Example of plants that uh, that reproduces through soccer are bananas, bananas, and of course bananas are called Musa sapiento, Musa sapiento. Even plantain, plantain produces through uh, soccer, plantain, <coughs> excuse me, plantain, Musa paradisiaca, Musa paradisiaca, and insect, insect repelling plants. Insect repelling plants. Example: The botanical name of insect repelling repelling plants is Chrysanthemum. Uh, Chrysanthemum cinerea folium. You are speaking in tongues. I love that. Now, pineapple reproduces through bobbies. But bananas, Musa sapientum, plantain, Musa paradisiaca, insect repelling plants, 
called chrysanthemum what? Cineraria folium, all right? They, they produce through what? Soccer. They produce through soccer. Take note of that. Another type of reproductive stem is called stolon. 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 And this stolon also grows horizontally. It grows horizontally. Example of plant that reproduces through stolon is the couch grass. The couch grass. This couch grass is called what? Oh, DG Tiria Scala Scalariform. Is that correct? I think that should be correct. Oh, Scala. Okay, Scalarum. 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 Okay, so. That is stolon, couch grass, Gitalia, Gitalia scalarum. That is then some also produce using what offsets, offsets. Example of plant that I produce through offsets is the water, is water lettuce, is water what lettuce. A good example is, um, a good example is. Okay, what are lettuce? The botanical name now is what I'm trying to remember. Because, no. Iconia. Iconia crassipis. Iconia crassipis. Now, please, another example of, of uh, plants that you produce, that it produces through rhizome is the canna lily. Alright, canna lily produces through rhizome called Kana Indica. Kana Indica, alright? Take note of that. Kana, in, Kana Lily called Kana Indica and Penicetum Purpurum, Elephant Grass, they both reproduce through what? Um, through <sighs> Rhizome. Now, is there another one I've not given us? Um, Okay, I think a good example of plant that also possesses a type of stem that is used for for photosynthesis is please I'll rub off this one now. I'll rub off this one is Opuntia. Oputia dinelli. Oputia dinelli also possesses a type of stem that is used for what? Photosynthesis. Okay. Photosynthesis. And uh, priestly pear. Priestly pear also uses a. Uh, it uses stem for what? Photosynthesis. Now, I've given you all the uh, reproductive type of stem. And the stems that are used for the production. Now we shall be taking other modification of stems, other little explanation of different types of what stems. Now there are some stems that are woody. These stems are found in perennial plants. Woody stems in perennial plant is called columna. Woody stems found in perennial plant is called what? Coluna. Example is found in Magifero, Magifera indica. Alright, that is mango. Mango. And there are some there are some shrubs, shrubs that also possess woody stem. There are some shrubs that possess woody stems. And example is the hibiscus china. Hibiscus, hibiscus, China rose. Example is what the hibiscus China rose, and this is called what um hibiscus rosa sinensis. Hibiscus rosa. Look at that, I'm sweating, God. 
is called a viscous, which means that the stem of wooden perennia is called what? Columna. Then there are some shrubs that have wooden type of woody type of stem. For example, it's found in hibiscus china rose, hibiscus rosa sinensis. Okay. There are some stems that grow under the ground. When these stems grow under the ground, they, it, it produces a branchy type of underground stem. And this type of stem is called what? Skip. It's called skip. And it's found in banana called what? Musa sapientum. Musa what? Sapientum. And this type of uh, stem is usually what? Weak. Is weak. All right. Now, they also, please, skip is to Musa sapientum. Then columna is to what? Mangifera indica. Take note of that. Now, there are some, there, is, there are some plants that, that climb. That is, they need to anchor themselves on another object for them to what? Survive. Example is, is the uh, Legendaria Ciceria. Alright. Legendaria. But I'm not too sure of this spelling. I'm not too sure of this spelling. So, uh, Legendaria Ciceria is a climber. Alright. It climbs for what? Support. It climbs for support. So, at this point, we'll call it a day. If you know you have learned something this afternoon, please endeavor to subscribe. Thanks for watching and do have a wonderful day.